So, IERA, so the founding members of IERA, the founders of IERA, the founding fathers <laughs> of IERA was Abdurrahim Green, Yusuf Chambers, and Saqib Satar. And there was a there was a founding team. I came on board before IERA was established as IERA formally in the public domain. And I was there to help project manage the launch. And I remember when I was speaking to Saqib Satar at the time, I was like, because my background is project management, I said to him, this is impossible, you're not going to get it done. It's just impossible. You've got a few weeks, you, you got nothing in place kind of thing. Khalas. They managed to get it done and I was part of the, the tour launch team and then they offered me a job as I think a lecturer researcher at that time. So I was part of the core team. So I helped develop the goal rap model, God's existence, oneness, revelation and prophethood, which was already done by Abdurrahim Green. But I used to do something called the intellectual foundation, which was very similar. Because if the foundations of Islam are true, then what comes from truth is true. So we came together, we developed that, the initial course that's been well known now all around the world, that will train people all around the world. So that the the foundational idea wasn't from me, it was from Saqib and Abdurrahim Green and Yusuf Chambers, but I was part of the founding team. It was meaningful, I think, and it was just a natural state of my own personality. Like Imam Malik, you know, was someone came up to him or wrote him a letter and said to him that, you know, you, you don't you're not you don't engage in zuhud. I think that was what he accused him of, you know. You're not on that, you know, spiritual path. Imam Malik replied to him basically saying Allah has given me something else I'm focusing on knowledge and that is ibadah that is worship too everyone Allah has you know we should all be on a certain level and do certain things but Allah gives you something more for you if Allah has put that in your heart go with it go with it right for some people it's reading Quran right reading Quran I think one of the Salaf one of the pious predecessors he wouldn't fast because he preferred Quran over fasting and he said when I fast I don't have energy to read Quran and he read a hell of a lot of Quran by the sounds of it. So some people are given something more. I think Allah gave me this. I don't know. Allah gave me something. Maybe it's my test. It was based upon that meaning and truth thing. So if you if you if you if you want to have a meaning in your life and you want to pursue truth which is connected to meaning, then you also basically want to articulate that and convey that to others. And in the process of doing that, it reinforces the meaning and the truth to you. This is a very personal thing. That's why I say da'wah, sharing Islam is like a shield, right? I remember once um, meeting an old uncle on, on, on the bus, right? On the public transport. And I said to him, you know, how do I deal with doubts or something? Do you know what he said to me? He said, give da'wah. It's like throwing a ball on the wall and it bounces back. And that that sat with me because da'wah in that way is, is like that, you know? It, it helps you, it be becomes your own shield, but because of meaning and the pursuit of truth, uh, that's why I wanted to convey truth to others and at the same time, it helped me reaffirm my own truth as well. Um, so with regards, so that's one of the reasons. So, I mean, before IERA, I, I was actually uh, doing my, had my own website, I was writing blog, uh, blog articles, I was doing debates, I was having discussions, I was involved in the DAWA anyway. And this was just a natural consequence because uh, I had to leave my job um, and then this opportunity arise and ever since then, you know, being part of the IRA family and project. So, you know, in 2017, I believe, I or 16, I don't remember now, about three years ago, they asked me to become CEO. Uh, and alhamdulillah, by the grace of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, you know, we just, it, IRA just catapulted itself into something that is relatively unrecognizable to what it was from the beginning.